Hi everyone, welcome to another Star Wars figure review and this is going to be of Anakin Skywalker from the Vintage Collection this is the Clone Wars version as you can see by the logo on the packaging and it is the realistic styled one this is the first realistic styled Clone Wars figure I uh, know in the online exclusive wave which is the last wave of the Vintage Collection you can pick up also a realistic version of Clone Wars Obi-Wan and Clone Wars Ahsoka Tano which I guess they're catching on, and I think they're going to be doing more in the Builder Droid next year. So that should be great. Um, I do like these realistic Clone Wars style figures. Uh, personally, I think they might have been better off doing realistic styled Clone Wars figures based on the animated series from the start instead of the animated figures. But anyway, that's just my personal preference. Um, so on to this figure. He doesn't come with much. Um, he does just come with his lightsaber um, and a hilt. So I'll show you that hilt quickly now. It is a fairly standard Anakin Skywalker lightsaber that doesn't want to focus at all. So yeah, there's no peg on that one, so you can't insert it onto his belt. There's no hole on his belt either. But yeah, that's that one. Um, so yeah, as I said, he does come with his ignited lightsaber. Which is, I guess, standard for Anakin now. We all know what lightsaber this is. And again, it doesn't want to focus. Onto the figure itself, he is quite a nice one. Great detailing on him, and he is obviously instantly recognisable as Anakin Skywalker. Quite a good likeness to Aiden Christensen, the man that portrayed Anakin in Attack of the Clones and Revenge of the Sith. So this figure is a piece in between those two films. Um, so articulation on this guy, he does feature a ball jointed head, ball hinged shoulders and elbows, swivel forearms. Uh, no, not swivel forearms. What am I on about? He does have ball jointed wrists as well, instead of swivel forearms, like I'm thinking of the actual Clone Wars figure. Swivel waist, swivel hips, ball hinged knees, and ball hinged ankles. So, fairly standard articulation. Um, a bit different on the whole ball jointed wrist side of things. Um, this figure also does have a soft goods lower tunic, which I think has come off quite nicely. It hangs like it should. Um, you've got some great detailing there, like on the belt. That looks quite nice, I think. And you have, of course, got the Republic logo on his shoulder. That again doesn't want to focus because my camera is having an off day and it hates me. Um. Yeah, I think maybe a little too much glare on the figure. But anyway, he is a really good figure. But last few things I do have to show you with this figure. Um, it's a quick comparison with the Clone Wars Anakin. Well, this is the first issue one. Uh, which is kind of dusty. Um, I don't know if it's faded or what, but... Yep. There is the Clone Wars Anakin, and there is the realistic styled one. Um, personally, I am a fan of this one. I am a fan of realistic style figures anyway, so that's understandable. Um, a lot of you will know this one more, as it is the Clone Wars style one that is based on the animated series. Both good figures in their right, but this one doesn't have any articulation from the waist down. So yeah, there's that comparison. Um... I mean, this is a really good, uh, what would I call it, adaptation of the Clone Wars style figure. Um, so one last thing we will look at before ending the review on this great figure is the packaging. Um, it is the vintage collection style packaging. It looks great. There's a 
decent image of Hayden Christensen, but photoshopped onto a Anakin Skywalker Clone Wars style body. Um, so you've got the usual stuff, the rest of the waves and vehicles. Um, quite a mixed wave, to be honest. It's got Phantom Menace figures, um, deleted scene figures, and the Darth Malgus wave, which I've forgotten which wave it is, because it's so confusing. But yeah, there's the uh, packaging for that guy, so... Overall, a really good figure. Um, quite surprised, actually, on how it's turned out, because of the amount of detail that's been put into this one. But what else can you expect from a vintage collection figure? I mean, they're fantastic. Be sad to see this line go, but anyway... As always, thanks for watching. May the force be with you.